Hey guys, welcome to Savage Air Guns. Today we are going to be covering the Crossman Z77 air gun. Now, this is a Uzi replica that was banned back in the 80s due to all the guns and stuff that they were banning back then. This one looked a little too realistic and Crossman wanted to stay out of, you know, the crosshairs of the government, so they just stopped producing this gun. But there's something very unique about this gun. Uh, we'll cover the first feature or the main features first. It's got a folding to the side stock. It doesn't lock, but it does hold in place pretty well. It holds 20 BBs through this little loading sl slot right here and it's semi-auto. Uses CO2, which is contained within the handle right here. If I can actually get it off. I have an empty one in here and that's how it it's loaded, you load the CO2. Um, one thing about this is it isn't really its own gun. This was manufactured using a prior platform. So if you look here, you can tell that the, this is actually a shell in two pieces that is screwed on over top of something else. So technically it's three, it's this, both the side pieces and there's a little, the little tray comes out. If you buy one of these, the seals are going to be bad. You'll have to replace the seals, which I did do in this one. I ordered a kit off of, I think eBay, uh, to replace all that and it functions fine now. It does have a sling mount right here, which is kind of cool. This is the original sling and I got the original paperwork with this. I found it at a garage sale and then rebuilt the seals. Now, what is inside of this is actually a 338 auto pistol that Crossman made. And they put the shell around it and then they extended the barrel of the pistol, put a longer barrel on here, so that way it would extend to the end. Otherwise, it would only be to like right here. So it does have a little bit of a longer barrel, which probably helps with accuracy, but it is just a BB CO2 pistol. So it's not super accurate out to a long range. It has a front sight and a rear sight, uh, not really adjustable, but again, it's a BB CO2 pistol, so you're not trying to hit stuff a million miles away with this. Um, it's just a very unique one for the fact that it was stopped in production, so there wasn't a ton of these made. So when I found this with all the paperwork and everything, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And if you look on here, the stock says Coleman. So that's pretty unique. Uh, get real close look up here. It says Crossman Air Guns, model Z77 BB Cal. Like I said, if you do find one of these, snag them up. They're pretty unique. Um, but you will have to replace the seals in these because most likely they're bad. There's like three seals that need to be replaced. You have to pull the shell off, open up the pistol, and replace all the seals in it but it's just a quick look at a very cool uh unusual pistol it shoots in uh semi-auto so every time you pull the trigger it gravity feeds the bbs down so every once in a while if you're pulling the trigger real fast you might have to give it a little bit of a shake uh, to get the bbs to uh, you know fall down into its little loading bay and uh other than that it's just a fun little plinking gun that looks super super cool and uh not one of those you want to take out in public, for sure. But still a very cool gun. Just thought I'd give you a quick overview of this. Again, it's the Crossman Z77 built around the uh, 338 Auto, which is just kind of a unique, cheap way of making this gun. And it looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.